And just as this depicts, it's a little bit of floating. It looks like you've been a little floating, not really knowing which way to go, Capricorn. Uh, should I stay? Should I go? Should I change jobs? So a lot of questioning. Just float for a while and see what spirit presents to you. But it looks like you're not alone in floating. Um, and sometimes it's best not to make a decision to see what is presented to you and, and weigh in all of your options. So it looks like just floating for a little bit instead of making any drastic changes and... Um, I know last month you had some truth telling, so maybe um, this is resonating with just letting it absorb, letting it absorb and seeing how it will manifest into your world and into the people's world that it affects. So just float for a little bit and um, let things come to you and make an educated guess from the information that you gather. So let us start off. That is what is on the bottom of the pile. So the very first card is the Hermit. And the Hermit, this is the essence of what this is about. And it's time for you to take some alone time. Uh, I know Capricorns that you can retreat from life and things. But this is a little bit more than retreating. This is taking some alone time, finding out your light of truth your information and really kind of pushing aside other people's opinions other people's desires wants needs take a look at what works for you um, releasing things from the past um, that do not serve you anymore but really taking a look inside where do you want to be in your next part of your life and what does that look like to you um, the floating also can indicate really not knowing which way to go, and that's fine too. So you may want to float a little bit more uh, until you get the information you need. So time to look within, time to uh, pull yourself away from other people's opinions that may affect your uh, decision making. So making a choice that is right for you is what it looks like, making some changes. What crosses you is a little bit of past energy. This is the Five of Cups. There's some emotion involved in here. It also, to me, looks like crying over spilled milk. Um, it's something that you cannot change. So really holding the past up so intensely and worrying about it or wish that you did things differently or um, just holding the pain from the past, whether it's a childhood trauma, whether it's a dysfunctional family memory or violence or some kind of unsafe um, experience. Holding on to that keeps you in that space of fear and doesn't promote your growth. So cast off that cloak of darkness, um, take a look at what it is, figure out what you learned from the situation and take it to your new experiences because you have two things sitting right behind you waiting for your attention. Uh, could be people, places, or things. <laughs> but uh, it's time to move on from the things that were either done to you, uh, by you, but no more holding guilt. Guilt uh, holds, holds you in kind of that suspended pain place. And it does no good for you. So release any guilt you have. Release any trauma that you have. Now is the time. And um, since it is in relationship, uh, we are in the relationship sector right now. Um, it may have to do with past relationships that either left um, naturally or left because of a situation. So take the lessons that you learned from that. Uh, apply it to your everyday life and moving towards a more, um, more well, less hindered way of living. Um, but releasing all those fears and pains and guilt from the headspace will help you move forward into action and into your bliss. The Knight of Swords, this is an air sign. A knight is usually someone midlife. Um, can be a very wise 20 year old on up. Um, swords are air signs. So air signs are Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. Um, this may be um, 
a family member, somebody that is in the forefront of your mind that has a fighting spirit but may, may need a little bit of your advice, may be um, having a little tumultuous or a little static in your communication. It feels like something isn't clear. It feels like something is not jiving and flowing organically. It feels like there's static and uh, communication issues. So you may need to take your step back from that person, let them figure out their way for a moment, um, and then revisit this uh, in, in a, a later time. I uh, encourage you to speak your truth with love and kindness, make any separations that are unhealthy for you, and um, look for the positive within this relationship. Sometimes it's better to, instead of getting into the static and going round and around and around, just take your leave from it for a little bit and then revisit it when the emotions have died down. But it looks like something is a little stag stagnant, a little staticky. There's um, kind of a, a filter between communications um, and it feels like some truth telling need to happen within this relationship. Okay, the next card is the nine and the nine of cups. This is also cups or emotions. This can stand for money. Um, looks like planning for the future, um, either signing something that has to do with your future or securing um, either retirement or a job or moving your finances from one place to another, but really taking a look at it, um, how um, money and time and effort works for you instead of against you. Um, and this looks like it's something projected into the future. So it could be a retirement plan. It could be stock plans. It could be even just saving a little money for something that you want to do. Um, but it is a change of, of the way that you save and the way that you look at your money for the future. Knight of Cups. Cups, once again, this is water. This is emotion. Um, and this could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, this is someone in your awareness. This is a, a knight. There is no female equivalent for the knight. So it can represent either a woman or a man. Um, usually it is someone under the age of 30. If it is someone over the age of 30, their emotional um, connection or their emotional um, uh, they, they are emotionally a little younger than their linear age if they are over 40. So but this is usually someone who um, kind of makes spur of the moment decisions that um, may be affecting you, um, male or female. But it's somebody that runs on the emotion and it, it is affecting you. And there are two knights here pulling you in either direction. So this may be um, two children pulling you in different directions. It could be um, two bosses, but it looks like wants, needs, and desires from each one are kind of polar opposite and they're affecting you and your family unit being pulled between two different sides. Um, so pick you, choose you, um, figure out what works for you, especially if it's a family dynamic. You may have to just step back from it, uh, let them duke it out, um, or make the decisions that ultimately better your future. It looks like a lot of money was going out for a while, and now it needs to recycle and come back into more of an abundant space for you. Um, dear Capricorn, so it's now it's time to put your money where your mouth is, maybe not give it away so freely and allow others to fall if they have made choices that are ultimately unhealthy for them. Um, but it kind of looks like it's time to stop saving the people in your life that continue to make the same choices over and over. The devil is in here. This is temptation. It could be drugs, could be alcohol, could be affairs, but it is some type of temptation 
that will kind of pull at your heartstrings. Um, it is a behavior that you have done in the past that did not work. It will revisit you and it is just a test. It's a just a test of your strength and how much you have learned. So um, might I suggest you take the new road. If two roads come to you, uh, one is familiar and you know how to do that road, take the new road, take the road less traveled, take the unknown and see what it'll bring you. But really be in integrity, speak from your heart. When there is a test, know it is a test and it is up to you which way you go. And whatever way you go dictates the rest of the energy. So if you know it's unhealthy for you and you revisit it, then you'll have to deal with that. Uh, responsibility and you know if, if you know it's it's positive and it's a new road and it's unknown then be responsible for that as well but there will be a temptation it is in the future card um, so it is coming up be aware and it doesn't look like it's all that healthy for you it's more of the same so Capricorn it looks like lovers is the basis of this so this new um, Jupiter movement is really going to help you define whether you want to upgrade your current relationship, create a new one, revisit an old one. But there's a lot of information and a lot of energy on lovers in here for you, Capricorn, and how it gives you balance um, to have a partner in your life. Um, your relationship with yourself is really the most important relationship that we have. Um, I encourage you to develop and to do some self-love, um, break those patterns of connecting with others to solve problems or the belief system that you can't do it alone. Um, yes, you can do it alone. Yes, it is easier with others. Um, but if that relationship isn't nurturing and loving and propels you into growth, that it just adds more to it. So it looks like you're really looking at your relationship space right about now, whether it's adding to it, taking away from it, changing the current one you have. But the lovers is the basis of a lot of your movement for October. Um, so have a look at that see what works for you. The Page of Cups here, that's water. Um, that's a younger person. And that's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So it looks like some of your decisions on the love side of your life has to do with children um, or others or um, keeping a relationship. Sometimes we keep relationships because of how comfortable it is or how comfortable it is for others or uncomfortable it is. If we make those changes. So make those changes that you need to on the lover front for you and only you. Our children, our um, family members, um, if we love unconditionally, we go with the flow with the changes that our family members make. Pages, there's two pages here. So I'm really feeling messages, messages. So pay attention to your emails, pay attention to your texts. You may run into someone from your past. Um, it looks like someone that you had heart space with. Um, and that may be the test because it's right next to the devil. So um, be aware that if the, that relationship that, that comes back, knocks on your door, is one that really didn't fulfill, it probably still won't fulfill. Um, you are a different person. Those people are different people. Um, friendships can be met and mastered. But this looks like a temptation from someone that either didn't grow um, or it's a pull from children to um, change behaviors. But take a look at this and be aware that it will come to your awareness. <laughs> be aware that it will come to your awareness. Be aware that it will come to you. And there are two here. So one is uh, very much full of emotions. Uh, this page, Pentacles, is ringing uh, messages about money. The coin is lighting up for me, so I don't know if you owe money, if you have money coming back, if you need to do your taxes, but there is some communication, some messages about money either you've forgotten about coming to you or going out. Justice is here, and 
justice is very much a legal card. Um, not only can it right a lot of wrongs that happened in the past, but it can also stand for actual legal things, whether it is a parking ticket, uh, your taxes, house taxes, incarceration, but there is something to do with justice that requires your energy and your immediate attention. And it looks like it may, it does have something to do with money either coming in, going out, but their justice will prevail and it feels like there needs to be a little bit more work on your part or um, contribution on your part, whether it's verbally, uh, whether it's jury duty, whether it's paying a ticket, there requires some attention on your part. But justice will prevail. It will equal out. It will balance out. and But it does require some attention on your part, Capricorn. Page of Pentacles. This is messages. As I said, I believe it has something to do with money. Um, it also can stand for a young child. Uh, Earth sign Capricorn Taurus Virgo is Pentacles. But it's really feeling right in line with um, money. Right in line with messages about money. On one side, it is the eight of swords and the eight of swords is kind of a place where it holds you almost like your mind holds you in a place that is really unhealthy um, it's one of feeling like you have no choices that you are stuck but cast off the blindfold and take a look at what's really going on here Take a look at what's really going on. Not what you're being told what's going on, but what's really going on. And if your gut tells you something is awry, it's awry. So really fold back the layers and see what's really going on because the words are not matching the actions in this situation. So um, step back and use your logical mind. You guys have such a logical mind. Turn down the emotions in it and take a look at it logically take off that blindfold and take a look at what this really is in your mind in your expertise travel and balance this is a two so it looks like there's a desire that you would really like to do whether it, uh, moving traveling creating something new but the world is in front of you here the world is in front of you and it's time to do um some more traveling and some movement and uh, really healing yourself. You've been doing a lot of have tos for family and whether it's around children or ill parents or um, just need of others, it's time to make your needs, your wants and your desires a priority. You have been doing a lot of things for others to keep the peace. And now it is time for you to keep the peace of your heart. So take a look at what you really want to do. Um, start saving for it. Allocate some uh, finances to it. Prioritize your life set up for you. And no longer should you put things on the back burner for other people because they've made a decision that didn't work out either financially, emotionally, and they needed you. It's okay to take your leave from some of the drama and start prioritizing for your happiness and your bliss, Capricorn. So, uh, it also may dictate moving, like I said, that moving, um, uh, but it also, I'm feeling the water lighting up here that, um, even if it's just getting away for the day to sit by the water or walk around a lake or sit by a stream, but it looks like just get some clarity, get some clarity and um, go sit by the water. Let that flow through you and release some of the things that you're having trouble releasing. Okay, Capricorn, that is your general reading. And I like to throw some of these... Uh, cards here. Ooh, vanity, vanity. So, and these are chakra cards. They seem to be pretty, ooh, pretty accurate. Wow. Let's just take those. All right. It's time to do 
some things for your own creation and your own happiness. Uh, don't forget your passions. Um, and also vanity is lighting up. So are you doing these things to look good? Or are you doing these things because it feels good? Vanity, usually that's an interesting card for a Capricorn. There's not too many tremendously vain Capricorns that I know. Um, but make sure that you're doing things for you to adjust things inside of you, not for the look good or not, not for how it appears to someone else. So find your humility, let go of your vanity, and do what you need to do. Creation, it's time to revisit all of those those wonderful projects that you want to do and to create you have a great creative side a very technical side to you and your creative side may be writing a technical manual or sharing your creation and your information on how you create with others so um share those creations uh, like minds are waiting in the wings to either help you or you help them. I'm feeling almost like a mentor position, but um, time to include others in the good times and uh, connect with like mind people that also have that creative technical mind like you do.